Hello, kings and queens, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jasmine, and I love to do anything dealing with makeup, fashion, and beauty. If you are an old subby, I appreciate you for sticking with me through this journey, and I hope that you guys had a great new year, like I said in my last video. By the way, if you have not watched my last video, please do so. Go like, comment, and share. Um... So, yeah, guys, it's still January 2023. I'm trying to be more consistent, more devoted to my YouTube channel because I want to grow my followers. And I just want to have a positive platform, whether I have a lot of likes, views, comments or not. I enjoy doing this, and I hope you guys enjoy watching me. So, on today's video, I will be doing a Dollar Tree makeup haul so one of my subbies Deidre shout out to you Deidre she uh, reached out to me and she was like Jazz do you mind um you know testing out the uh, Dollar Tree makeup this new brand or whatever and I was like absolutely honey <laughs> cheap that's what we like over here <laughs> but anyway so I have the receipt here I literally oh wait a minute y'all pause 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 do you see my new backdrop? Made by yours truly, courtesy of Dollar Tree. So for this particular video, I will say, you know, it's kind of close to my face or whatever, which I try to do that when I do makeup videos. But up top and the bottom, I realized that I'm definitely going to have to do probably another board this size, just so when I do hauls and stuff like that, um, the background could be fully covered because honey i was tired of looking at them white walls the white door i was like i need to change it up i need to give them something spicy you feel me but anyway so this um backdrop is definitely fitting for queen jazz so i hope y'all like it i wanted to try something new or whatever but anyway back to um what I want to talk about as far as Dollar Tree goes and their makeup. I wanted y'all to see the receipt. If you can, I spent about, I know you can't hardly see it, $16. So I spent $16 because you know me, honey, I just can't go in there and get one or two things. I got to get this, that, and the third. So I'm going to show y'all what I got. So very first, the very first thing is um, concealer. And the name of the brand is Essentially Ageless. That is the brand at, um, one of the brands at Dollar Tree because you know, LA CoverGirl is definitely one of my faves. So we got concealer, we have blush. I thought this blush is really pretty. And I've been wearing the same blush since forever. Um, so I definitely want to try something a little more deeper, rich or, rich or brighter. I don't really know how to explain it, but you'll see. I got some mascara, of course. So I got kind of confused with these because I love highlighter and I love my bronzer. So I just got both. Hopefully that it works out. So I have like this, um, nudist, nudist. <laughs> the name of it is Glow Time. So that's what I'm gonna go with. Um, and then like I said, I have this bronzer. The next thing that I have is the actual foundation, okay? So, they had it in powder. So, I didn't, I mean, I can't really match my skin to this. So, what I did was I got light medium and I got medium deep. So, we're just gonna have to test them both out, y'all. Y'all see my nails, they cute, ain't it? <laughs> but anyway, I got some face primer. So that is by LA CoverGirl though. Um, I got some lashes. These are the best I could find. Those are LA CoverGirl. And these are called Dainty. Dainty, okay. I got some lipstick, but I think this is more so of, um, it says hydrating lipstick and it's infused with oil. This is how it looks. I'm guessing that is the color. So, um, hopefully it's as close to like a dark red or dark pink as possible. Oh, I forgot I got this. See what I'm saying? So, I did get some foundation because 
I'm a liquid foundation type of girl. Um, I don't necessarily use powder as far as foundation goes, but this is matte foundation. Um, the color I got was warm honey. It looked kind of close to, y'all know I love Fenty Beauty um, foundation and I love matte foundation because I have very oily skin as you can see because um, I have to moisturize my skin. But we're going to give this a go. So I don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't know if I should do the foundation and then put the powder on top. We'll figure it out. But what I do want to talk to y'all about, honey, listen. The other night, I went out um, to dinner with some friends. And my favorite brow brush, Torp, was done for. And I didn't know it. But when I went to Dollar Tree, I did purchase. Um, you see, it's already open. I purchased a LA CoverGirl um, brow pencil. And y'all, when I tell y'all this brow pencil is everything, the color is, I don't know if you can see it. Where is the color? I'm sorry. Um, the color is soft brown. Yeah. Let's see. I used to want to do that all the time. Like, the color is soft brown. <laughs> when I used to watch YouTube. But anyway, now I will tell you, I'm going back and I'm getting one, two, three. How many they got, I'm going to get them. Because it's hard for me. Sorry, this is my work phone. It's hard for me to um, find brow pencils that I like. And I'm not going to lie, I will spend $24 on a brow pencil, but I have not done that in years. So for me, honey, whatever the cheapest is, that's what I need. So I don't really want to show on camera how I do my brows. I have done that before. You know what? Oh, and this lasts a long time too. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and do maybe one of my brows on camera, and then we're gonna move on from there. Okay, guys, so let's get into it. Okay, kings and queens, so hopefully this is not that weird of an angle for you guys, because I want you to actually at least get to see me do one of my brows, like I said, because I love this pencil. It, and I'm gonna go in it, it's not sharpened or anything like this, so hopefully it has the same effect it did the first time I used it. So, yeah, here we go. So, the way I do my brows is, okay, I'm going to have to push my one, uh, mirror over a little bit. So, I like to draw a line under, kind of faintly, just to get an idea of how I want my brows. And I've told y'all before that I do not get my eyebrows arched. And I actually was almost tempted to do it the other day because I know sometimes when you get your eyebrows arched, they just wake your face up so much. It just looks better and you know, my eyebrow uh, will probably lay better. But this is all I do. I just draw it in, fill it in. This doesn't work for everybody. I've actually saw women um like do lines and stuff so it's really up to your discretion this is what works for me you can already see already see a huge difference you know what i mean oh my goodness that's is that nose hair i'm so sorry <laughs> y'all i just be pointing out stuff i'm sorry i definitely need to cut it but you know here we are um so that is how i do my brows i'm going to Finish that up and I will, I'm probably just gonna speed this part up, so yeah. Something that I like to tell people is also, I don't know, this brush is just, it just comes through so well. I really like this pencil a lot. Like, I wouldn't even lie to y'all like that. Cause I'm picky about certain stuff, but this pencil is it's pretty good quality. I don't have any complaints at all. But I will say I probably would have sharpened it, but I'm still getting the same effect without it being sharpened. So after I fill my brows in, I go through and you know just comb them out until 
they're where I want them. Um, we're gonna go in with the Hydrating Serum Concealer. I'm kind of nervous about this one though because I don't know if something is going to beat. Um, that's my makeup mirror, but as you can see, and I have this in the color light medium. If you see something on the screen, that is my um, makeup mirror. Okay, what? Where's the concealer? Woo! It's light. <laughs> my God, my God. So we're gonna have to work with this. Um, that's light. So I'm gonna put some on my wrist. Oh my God, y'all. Well, it's, it's probably, probably about the same color I, um, I normally use. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so off top for me, for some reason, this is very watery. I don't like, do you see how it looks on my hand? Like, I don't know, which it is hydrating. So that's probably why it is looking the way it does. Um, so far, I mean, it's doing what I needed to do. I feel like it looks white on my skin also, almost. But I'm not afraid of that because I love concealer. And I've saw people um, use concealers way too light for their skin. but um, Which I feel like this is way too light for my skin. Some people might disagree, but I think it's way too light. Um, it's not as warm as I would have liked it. But I'm going to finish my brush. See, look, look at that. See how it's streaking? It's almost like lotion. That's the vibes I'm getting. So it must be very hydrating, but we're going to see in a minute. So I'm going to finish my eyebrows and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, now that my concealer is applied, I am going to, with my beauty blender, this is just water in here. And I want to show y'all something that I noticed. The more you apply, it starts to cake up a little. But I'm going to see if we can work with that. Or, um... I actually like the way this is blending out. It's almost invisible. Right? All right, those are the brows. So what we're going to do next, I think I'm gonna just go in with, the, we're just gonna go in with everything. We're going to try the foundation. Oh my God. Oh wait, the primer. You know what, it's too late for the primer, y'all. We, we'll just try that another day. Um, let's try the foundation, honey. I'm gonna just do some dots on there. We're gonna start with that little bit. My beauty blender is already wet. So let's get the beauty. Blender. Why is Dollar Tree trying to snap like this? Why is Dollar Tree snapping on the low? I know it looks crazy, but let me blend it in. So 
So I had to stop with the Beauty Blender. I'm going to use a brush instead. Oh, wow, yeah, that made a huge difference. And I'm going to add some more foundation. Okay, so kings and queens, I'm not disappointed. Um, for some reason, this foundation just brings out the driest parts, the patchiness on my skin. I think my ring light is definitely bright, but I wouldn't say, I would say this is probably just a little bit lighter than I would I don't know, maybe I need to finish it. Cause baby, the brows is eating. And then you know what, my hair's back, so it's just looking more prominent on my skin. I don't know, what do you guys think? I don't think it's a terrible match. I actually don't. I think it could definitely be maybe a shade darker. Let's try this bronzer. I don't even think this is gonna be real deal bronzer but let's find out. Actually guys, I'm just gonna rub my finger in it and put it on my arm. And like I already knew, it's not real. That's pretty though, but this is definitely not going to give me a contour type deal. So um, I did not buy anything that is, um, that I can contour it with. So, we're gonna improvise and not worry about contouring. How about that? We're just gonna move along to um, a little under eye concealer. Once again, with the hydrating concealer, that hydrating serum concealer. Okay, so right off the back, um, I put a little water. I don't think that was a good idea. I think that this should definitely be applied with maybe a dry, let's see. So I have learned something. Do not use a wet concealer for this conceal this particular concealer because it's almost like the water just wipes it away i don't know how to explain it to y'all it make it look i know how to explain it. it make it look splotchy when you use the water i need to warm my face up i'm looking so white so i'm going to take my anastasia um beverly hills uh contour that i always use um yeah I'm just gonna warm my cheeks up, please. Don't judge me. Okay, now we're looking like somebody. All right. No, this is not Dollar Tree, but y'all bear with me. That's the only thing I think I will have to use. Okay, now that I have done concealer and um, just contoured my cheeks a little to warm my face, I am going in with the um, Essentially Ageless Powder from Dollar Tree. This is light medium. And I'm going to set my eyes with this particular um, foundation. It would have been smart if I would have had all of this open before I filmed. But of course me, honey, I have to make everything difficult. So I'm gonna take a powder brush. That's all I'm doing, honey. Blow it a little bit, set that. Okay, so next things next is going to be the blush. 
blush blush it's pretty though i'm really excited about this it's called midnight rose blush yeah that's the name of it well that's the color of what i should say I actually love this little packaging. Look at, isn't that cute? That was a cute, that is so cute, right? Okay, now Dollar Tree, you tripping. Is it gonna stay closed or is it gonna keep open, honey? <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take my um, brush that I use for blush. We're just gonna tap that. Maybe a little too peak. <laughs> oh my God. Blush. I mean, at this point, you want to be a clown, Jasmine, or what? I don't know. I don't know. What y'all think? Let's see. Just bear with me, honey, because we can fix it. Whatever we need to do. Okay, so uh, that bronzer, but it looks like highlighter. We're going to use that for highlights. All right, the ladies and gentlemen, I use the bronzer, corners of my eye, bridge of my nose, the end of uh, the point of my nose, my lip, and the highlights of my cheek. So after I do that, I normally go in with um, setting spray. Um, so we're gonna use a little setting spray. I don't need much, and just a tad of water. Gonna dry that. Next, I am getting my mascara. I'm gonna give that a go. Okay guys, so I have um, put on some mascara. I'm not mad at the mascara at all. I feel like this could be like an everyday or, you know, I don't wear makeup every day. So, but if you're an everyday girly and you don't want to use like your stuff that might be a little more expensive, look at me. Now, I'm going to use some lashes. I think I look cute like this, but you know. <laughs> I'll we'll say this side has a little more eyeliner, so I'm going to fix that to try to even it out. Sorry, y'all, I was looking at um, a message from my job. Now that I have even my eyeliner, I think it's pretty good now. Um, it's definitely not perfect, but that is okay. That's what I love about makeup is trial and error. So the last thing I need to do is my lips. Um, I'm not going to, well, I can't outline them. I'm taking that same pencil that I use um, on my eyebrows, on my lips. So this is the lipstick. Um, it doesn't really have a coat, a number. I tore it off, but this is the lipstick. Pretty, right? Let's see. Once again, it is hydrated. I think it has oil in it. Okay, kings and queens. Uh, you know, I had my little mirror. It actually has LED lights on it. So it was um, making my face seem a lot um, brighter. Now I just have my ring light that I always use to get just a little lighting, but to also, um, sorry, I was looking at myself, but to also just see um, the difference between like something being super bright. Okay, so for me, I don't think this is bad at all, y'all. Like, if I couldn't buy what I normally buy, um, which, like I said, it's not like I spend $200 on makeup, like, a lot. Um, every now and again, if I do a particular haul and I need, like, my, um, face. Sorry about that, y'all. My, uh, phone was acting crazy. And, yes, I record all my videos 
on my iPhone. But anywho, uh, like I said, I think I might have used a little too much of blush or whatever, but that's okay. Um, like I said about the cost and stuff like that, you do what works for you. For me, I like this. I don't see anything wrong with it. Like this could really be a everyday type makeup look minus the harsh eyeliner or whatever. But um, I like it. So once again, shout out to Deidre. I appreciate you for supporting me, liking my stuff, commenting and watching my videos. This was a fun tutorial to make. And just like Deidre, I hope for everyone else that you all enjoy seeing me, you know, try uh, something new as far as brands and cost. Uh, like I always say, guys, if you want to see me do something in particular, if I can afford it and I have the time, I will do it. Um, please like this video. If you do not watch the whole video, that's fine. Just let it play. Go clean up. Go do whatever you need to do. Um, I just want to get those views up. But once again, if I do or don't, I'm going to continue to put my work out into the world. And whatever happens, happens. If you've made it this far in my video, I appreciate you. I thank you. My kings and queens, as always, I send you love and light on purpose. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. I love you. Peace.